Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to take out Traxxas slash 4x4 stub axles. But first, I want to give a shout out to Junior Potato 1234. He is my first subscriber. I just want to say thanks for the support. So I hope you enjoy. First, you're going to need to take out off your wheel. All you have to do is unscrew the bolt that holds it on. Then slide it off and get a flathead screwdriver. And you're going to stick the end of it in between that metal piece right there, or plastic piece, and this plastic piece right in the middle of them. And then twist your screwdriver and you will hear it pop out of place. Then slide that off and there should be a pin that you will slide out. This pin holds on the stub axle as you can see it right there. Now you want to slide the stub axle out of the bearing carrier and then slide the drive shaft out of its other side. Once you do that, you want to get your pliers and grab onto this plastic piece right there with your needle nose pliers and twist until you get it that side off. After you do that, you can replace your stub axle, or in my case, just put it right back on. To do this, you will need to slide one side of the stub axle onto the notch. Then you can get your pliers and grab the other plastic piece and twist it to get the metal notch over and then get that notch into the hole. Once you do that, if you notice it's bulging, get the pliers and squeeze the ends. Whoops. Now you can slide the drive shaft pieces back together. Put the stub axle back through the bearing carrier. Then you can get the pin and slide it through the two holes. Like that. Once you do that, you can you can get this pl plastic piece right here and slide it over. Then turn it until you hear it pop into place. Then get your screwdriver and press down on the plastic piece. That and push until you hear it go in. be right back. Once you have it in, you can get, get your screw, which I have lost, and, here it is, and put it back through its hole. And you're going to need to make sure 
it's tight so it doesn't come loose. And I will be back when I'm finished. Once you've tightened down your screw, all you have left to do is put on your tire. So you get the wrench that comes with the truck and make sure the bolt is very tight. there we go if you're wondering why I haven't had very many running videos of this truck up it's because I broke an A-arm and I'm waiting for the part to come in but as soon as I have that I will be making lots of running videos some jumping and some possibly some wheelies so I hope you enjoyed